Then, zombie Kate Goslin's telling you whether she's terrified to trick or treat with her eight children. And if she plans on bringing her reality TV career back to life. Maybe six feet under, but this is one mom who is a TV star. She's so busy, she doesn't have time to die. Please welcome Zombie Kate Gosling. <laughs> Show, welcome. Hi, what is Halloween like with eight kids in your house? Well, typically it's two hours worth of costumes and dressing and, you know, on and on. But this year we traded on um, painting our pumpkins and our whole weekend we had planned for shoveling snow and being out of power. Because <laughs> so you're out of power yeah. right now. You know, so last year, the do. Kate Gosselin, the, the Kate got this year, Kate Gosselin, no, last year was you, Kate Gosselin, this year is Casey Anthony, the most popular mask. What do you think of that? I'll stick to Kate Gosselin. <laughs> <laughs> do you, so first of all, are you, just saying, because this is live, are you making it back in time to do something Halloween-wise? Like, how do you handle this? No power, a lot of people are in the same situation, you've got... We Eight. got power back last night, Okay. Um, finally, so we were a little over a day without it, which was an interesting um, experience, losing a lot of our trees and shoveling snow. Yeah. That is so odd to be discussing snow when we Before were, like, we were ready to paint our pumpkins. It's strong all the way around. Um, it's strange. So. Another thing that probably caught you off guard, too, when the show was canceled, I know you had to be shocked. How did the kids handle that? Because that was a lot, it was six years. Uh, your your lives. So yeah, it's as when far it's back over, as the little kids remember. Um, I mean, obviously, as an adult, I'm paying attention to ratings and how things are going, and nobody's saying anything. But I'm pretty much figuring it out. It was still a shock to hear it, mm -hmm. and then um, to sit the kids down for our first ever family meeting to tell them they were upset. Um, yeah. Nobody they really miss the crew? said, they, said much. they miss the crew, right? They do. They yeah. ask constantly when they're coming um, right. to play with them. So, and they, they, you know, obviously are coming. A few of them, especially, used to help dress the kids up to play in the snow. So, well, on a serious tip, um, it's got to be really hard because, like you said, it was six years, and it's a little scary. Uh, you know, I know being a single mom, but not anymore, but being a single mom, trying to figure out how you're going to... Congratulations. Thank you, honey, but, you know, trying to figure out how you're going to take care of your children. I have one. You have, you know, all your children. Do you know what you're going to do next? Do you... Is it a little scary? It, it actually is really scary um, because that's a lot of weight on my shoulders. Um, it's eight kids, and I don't take it lightly, so... You know, coming up, I'm hoping to obviously stay in TV. I've found what I like to do, and it's exciting and adventurous, and every day I is know different. You have a nursing degree. Could you ever think about going back to nursing? It was always, you know, in the past it was my backup plan, mm -hmm. but one day when you realize that your backup plan isn't going to work to provide for eight kids, it gets scarier. Mm -hmm. Are you, when you Right now, moving forward, when you think about, okay, career-wise, that's one area. What about relationship? Like when you see a, a man step in as like a potential partner, do you do you first look for okay, this is potentially a father figure or someone who can help me, or do you look for the love of your life, a soulmate? What are you looking for first, and how do you even mm. begin to travel through that? Um, it's I, it's hard. I mean, I'm not going to lie. It's it's a situation where I have trouble. I'm realizing probably more now that I have trouble trusting people. Um, so to let anybody into our lives, sort of to share it with us, I'm obviously looking for the love of my life, somebody that can handle everything that comes my way. And Maddie and Kara have been talking more to me about that lately. Um, 
you know, oh, are you going to go two, out on... Those are your two um, my older kids. Yeah. yeah, and they are saying, are you going to go out, you know, on dates? Are you going to ever date anybody? And uh, Kara's question is, well, what if we don't like him? That's what she always says. Yeah. And I said, well, then he's not... That's not somebody for me. They I mean, have to I have to that's going to be tough. I'm curious, when you look back on the show now, who who is that woman? <laughs> um, I don't... It's hard to... It, I was watching... Um, the little kids still watch our show mm. at night when they're allowed to watch something. And they pop in the DVD and I get sucked in watching different uh, scenes of different episodes. And I was in the little girls' room the other night putting them to bed. And there was some... I don't remember what season, I don't remember which show, but I st sort of stopped and I caught myself watching myself and I went, oh. and then I went, whoa. I, I feel like years ago, I mean, on TV has chronicled the changes, the maturing, the change of decisions, the growing up of me. And I think every mom, every person, if chronicled, could say that about themselves, but I feel like everybody is a work in progress, and um, I am responsible to change me to become the best me. Now, you know, uh, your, your ex-husband, John Gosselin, he was interviewed uh, after the show was canceled, and he said, I'm sorry, uh, this is horrible. Uh, I'm so sorry, because I want to tell you, it's so hard to finish off with this. He said that he's very relieved that the kids would be away from the cameras. He said, reality TV is not a career, um, and it's time to get back to a normal life. So what do you think about that comment? Um, I mean, I don't typically comment on what John has to say, and I don't feel like his opinions really affect me. Um, but I think that um, it's, it's a clearly different uh, plan than John and I had when we were together. Uh, my goal was always to go further um, and this thing that was working, providing us opportunities and providing the best things for our kids. How often does he see the kids? Um, he has them every other weekend. Oh. Well, do you I think know it's we strange to have this discussion while we're dressed as zombies right now. I do. I actually, um, I had like... to like revert my conversation back, like because I caught your flip flops at yeah, one point, yeah. so They're I just hot. had to. Kate, I heard you were going to be the kids' managers. You were taking them to Hollywood and get into a showbiz career with your kids, and you were going to manage them. Is that true? I, you know what? To be honest, just doing like. Family pictures wears me out, so forget that. <laughs> <That's true. laughs> so there is imagine. zero truth to that. There's I mean, no truth. honestly, I laughed when I read that. Uh -huh. Yeah, absolutely. Off we go to yeah. Hollywood. And don't you think it's going to be hard to find a guy who's going to be taking on eight kids, dead or alive, zombie or not? And that's I think dead be might be, you know, a positive <laughs> for him. That's Death, gonna be hard. you know. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I, yeah, it is. You know what? Thank you so much for coming to the show and speaking about such serious stuff. Yeah. Dead. It's so funny. It Thank is so you. <laughs> Gotta come back. We want to thank Kate Goslin. We're gonna be right back, but first, the horror classic that used zombies to symbolize a society on the brink of the revolution, 1978's Dawn of the Dead. Take a look. Oh,